Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Evidence. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100. Happy Wednesday to you. And uh, the interesting thing about what we're going to be going for today is we have two uh, sets of gifts here that are fairly similar. Uh, Twilight and Lightning Barrage, and then Horfrost Stream and Ice Barrage. And as Pierce Lightning is what the big boys are weak to, and uh, Pierce Ice is what the... Uh, hunters are weak to we should be okay to actually slap our way through here pretty well enough and since it's dark and light uh dark shout will only apply to orfrost stream and twilight here so uh we'll uh keep these on here we don't really need anything here so we'll just go for more stamina but uh since since uh ribcage doesn't have enough vitality at an E plus here. Uh, we can't get Cleansing Light or any of that. We can't get uh, Merciless Reaper unless we go for some heavy uh, Fortitude buffs here. And so uh, we'll just have to deal with uh, regular damage here. And so in in case of that, we're going for Swift Destruction for an extra free 20%. And we're going for Improved Regeneration to give us basically 14 heals instead of 10. Uh, because it's a 40% increase to your healing, and uh, we'll be able to heal like 1470 or something like that, which is uh, more than half our health bar currently at the moment. And we do have Disremember along the way here, just to make sure that we are able to um, have a really, really good cooldown uh, whenever we need to. Okay, and then we do this. And he's dead. So very, very... Very nice. Oh, he did drop something, so let's go ahead and pick that up. And I see, uh, a black saber, nice. And see, because we don't have, um, we don't really have the These problem here of uh, having time on anything, uh, there's really no reason uh, for us to worry about uh, time on anything uh, for uh, things like gift extension and such. Okay. As you can see there, it is a great, great way to get rid of this fella. Uh, so we do need to heal ourselves, so let's go ahead and heal. And you can see there that we do, because we do have a pretty low um, amount of health, uh, doing 20% on, on recovery there is uh, not too bad in, in, uh, in all uh, consideration. So we can go down pretty low here on health, just because of the fact that... Uh, we don't really need to worry about um, too much. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can almost kill him in uh, one go here. So uh, we will go ahead and head over here. We'll do a couple of... Oh, whoops. I didn't realize he was going for that uh, Yeah, push there. That's uh, unfortunate. Okay. Nice. So we'll be able to uh, make good use of the roars here along the way, and we'll also be able to make uh, good use of um, Horfrost Stream and Twilight. Now the problem, as you can see, is that we are going to run out of health uh, very, very, very quickly, um, just because of the fact that uh, you know we're we're actually not doing too well. Um, so I will show you a uh, nice. A nice happy trick uh, if you get do get to this point. Oh. Or I will just die. One or the other. Okay. Uh, maybe we can hit him from here? Nope. Okay. Go ahead and do something, Eva. Okay. Got that guy. Now if we could get focused here, that would be great. Okay, looks like we're not going to be getting focused. So now instead of uh, instead of using um, improved regeneration, if we go to regeneration shift, you'll notice that we still have six uh, heals, um, but we can heal a lot more uh, health now all of a sudden. Um, and that is because it only takes um, two away from your maximum, it does not take away, uh, it does not take away the amount of, uh, health from, uh, it doesn't take away the regenerations 
from the actual count of what you have active. So it's a it's a nice way that after two heals, uh, you go for something like that, and you're able to actually get back um, a lot more health and have a really really good uh, use for it. Okay. And that is a fantastic way to get rid of uh, this room. Okay. Oh, a regen inducer. How nice. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we don't have Eva, we don't have any i -Core, we don't really have any health. Um, you know, it's like uh, a real question now. Uh, how do you even get through here with something like this? So, yeah, it's a, it's a real challenge uh, overall. After you get through those uh, first two heals, you can actually use Regeneration Shift here, and uh, it'll get you 80% increase. Uh, so, instead of having... Uh, 14 heals, let's see, you would have um, 2 times 1050 times 1 1.4 uh, plus 8 times uh, 1050 times 1 1.8. So that would be 18,000. Uh, so let's see here. Um, divided by... Um, 1050 is going to be our... So it's like having an extra 3 heals. It gets you about 17.2 heals overall total if you uh, use this perfectly um, with improved regeneration. So let's see here if we can do the invasion. If we can do the invasion, because we do have a couple of regen inducers and stuff, then we'll call it good and we'll, we'll just uh, zoom our way past uh, back up to here. And uh, we'll see just how this invasion goes overall. So we have 16 more uh, i -Core to get. So we can do this. And we can do this. And we'll do this. This. And we'll heal. Good. Alright. And we'll do this. Alright. Uh, this. Um, no, I wanted... Uh, this way. There we go. Good. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, that was horribly done. Yeah, 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 Mr. Slam-a-lot. Alright, so we, I guess we will just, uh, I guess we'll just, uh, head on back. Uh, I am back. Okay, well, that went, uh, pretty poorly there. So we'll just make our way back. But uh, these two gift sets, um, how they actually operate, uh, the problem is with the barrage gifts, as you know, is they operate like shotguns, where you have to be really, really close to the enemy to get all the pellets and bullets to hit. Um, so that's really, really important uh, that you get that done in that manner. However, if you are pretty far away from the enemy, then you have access to... Oh, whoops. Then you have access to the um, laser beams, essentially. Okay. And are the monkeys coming? They are coming. See, here they come. Uh, they never give up the chase. Uh, they never, ever, ever give up the chase. Okay. But we can get rid of them uh, pretty easily there. And see, if you're right on top of them, the barrages are really, really good. Oh, and we messed up big time here. Uh, we didn't start with uh, 10 regens. So, yep, a little bit of uh, blunder, blunder here and there will cost you uh, big time. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we'll we'll make do with what we have. All right, Eva, ready to go? All right, and we'll go for ice first. Whoops. Alright, and then we can do this and get two of these guys for uh, one here. Almost got this guy. And these uh, gift casts are very, very quick here. Okay. Now you want these to be 
as uh, long distance as possible. There we go. Now we are going to need uh, some help here so we can get some uh, i core but I was hoping um, against hope there that uh, we could get those uh, done a different way. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Hey, Eva, you kill that guy. Yeah, you should uh, do him uh, also nicely there. Okay, and uh, let's go for some i -Core. And uh, we will definitely be going for uh, this boy first. Okay, and go for him. Good. There we go. Okay, so you can see that we do have a really uh, good amount of damage possible, potential, that we can definitely go for. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we <laughs> uh, we kind of have this problem here of health, and uh, that's why um, we don't really have a super good ability to stay alive here as much as possible. Now, if in these off times, uh, we could go for both um, improved regeneration and regeneration shift. Um, if we really wanted to make the super most out of our heals, which we may have to. Um, and so that's kind of how you um, bring all of the uh, healing to bear uh, for for this kind of a setup here, is that you have to really um, get everything up and running as good as you can, because otherwise um, you're really not uh, going to be in a good way here. Okay, and then we'll... Uh, laser him down. Okay, good. That's the most efficient way to uh, take this guy out. Um, and so we will try here for just a bunch of uh, lightning barrages. Okay. Okay. Well, the good news about getting uh, focus there is uh, we do get 10 I core back. Uh, so I'll show you here in just a second. Uh, why this is good if you uh, pair up your um, heals and this is uh, an, a good time to do that is because when you do this you get all of your health back um, and then back to swift destruction so uh, that can be a good way to uh, like abuse kind down. of the um, the healing mechanics here that we have okay because as you can see um, you we to do, do have some real uh, health problems here. Oh, come on. Uh, stupid bayonet guys uh, got me all at once there. Okay. Ugh. At least we got the key. Man, those uh, bayonet guys did not uh, <laughs> give me a chance at all, as, uh, as you can see there. Now we'll see um, just how fast we can get back there. Okay. And this is the uh, difficulty of gifts only, is when you have um, something like this and you're building for very specific enemies. Whoa! Well, rip haze. Um, when you have uh, very specific enemies that you're building for, and then things like this happen where um, you, you count on the AoE um, and uh, you don't actually get the ability to um, figure out how to actually get the most damage out on the enemy uh, because just because of the fact that uh, you're you're thinking and building for one specific scenario but then you get tossed into you know so many different kinds of scenarios and uh, okay and it becomes a oh and it becomes a real problem okay we're dead uh, Eva's probably gonna die yep all right well we'll just head back then okay and we'll go for regular regens here. Uh, I don't know why they're giving us uh, so many problems here at the moment, but uh, they are. Okay, let's see if we can uh, get back here. Okay. And typically I don't go for the shortcuts, uh, just because I like to see how, um, how I can get through here as quickly and as easily as possible. And I'm now hating on those uh, bayonet boys, just because of the fact that they um, 
took us down uh, in a really bad way there. Yep, nice try, my buddy. Okay, we'll just run around over here. Okay, and then we will uh, head through these guys. Now, Eva's gonna get stuck up there with the monkeys, but we should be able to run from the monkeys, um, but they will still be pursuing us until the ladder. So we are on a time limit here to get as far away from the monkeys as possible so they don't uh, chase us, but because all the doors here are, um, are open and everything, uh, we should be able to uh, get past these guys, okay? And we gotta get through here. Yeah, get him, Eva. Go, go, go. And we gotta get up that over there. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Move. Okay. Wow, we are getting... Uh, okay, Eva's gone. Uh, where are the monkeys? It, uh, they should be coming here pretty soon. Um, if they're gonna follow us, which they never give up the chase. Uh, until you get to the ladder um, over here, where you go up. Uh, so we'll uh, try and get there as soon as we can. But uh, because we're um, done with Eva there, unfortunately, we're not going to have as fast a gift cast as we uh, would have hoped. Okay, so now uh, for another one of these wonderful rooms here. And uh, the cool thing is about this now is that uh, we can actually, because of what we have here, we can actually go for this. We can kill... Uh, almost everybody in the in the room here in one shot okay and you can see that that uh, is a pretty easy way to uh, get through these guys no real problems no big hoo-ha or whatever uh, you can just go for one horfrost stream because of uh, dark shout and it basically kills um, everybody in there in one hit now if you were uh, if you did put on a little different uh, passive here or something you could actually kill them in one shot okay and so now um we will need uh all the icor we can get here before we, uh whoops before we get into uh the next group okay that's good uh 10 uh okay and let's go for twilight here okay here we can just go for Yep, bayonets are going to be a problem here. So we're going to move around this guy, and we'll just go for uh, Bayonet Boy here. Oops. Okay. Whoa. We landed. I did not expect to land there. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so unfortunately there, uh, Bayonet Boys, um... They uh, prove to be difficult when all you have is mega gifts or small gifts. And uh, getting through the Crypt Spire, uh, gifts only, can be a problem just because of um, backstabs. Not having access to backstabs because of the frames that are afforded you from backstabbing will allow you to um, mitigate most of these rooms. In a, in a pretty big way most of the time. Okay, since we already lost like a million haze or whatever. Ooh, oops, we're not gonna sweat it here for the moment. Okay, gotta get around and away from the monkeys here. All right, now the barrage gifts again, um, they, they are kind of uh, obsolete these days. However, um, there's still... somebody died, uh, which is interesting, but they still do have a place at, off the door, and you still can use them, they just aren't as uh, incredible, amazing, and uh, wonderful as they once upon a time were, but that's okay, they still, they still can do some uh, pretty good work if you need them to, and uh, there are not too many use cases for them, uh, because for that 4 I-Core, you can do some other pretty great, crazy, and incredible thing. Uh, so sometimes it's not, uh, it's not worth it. Okay, good. Let's head on up here. Okay. Mm and I guess, uh, what we'll do here is we'll just do this. Because as you see there, it's, uh, 
pretty good damage overall. And you can see that um, throwing the uh, barrage gift up in the air is not um, the best thing you can be doing. Uh, it would be nice if it went straight forward, but it doesn't. And that boy up there is uh, what we need to uh, get going here at the moment. And so we'll switch back to our Pierce Lightning here. And hopefully we can head up the ladder before Dark Shout ends. Looks tough. Okay. Let's be careful. Okay, very good. Okay, now we are prepped and ready here. So very, very good. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. And this is where uh, you can start to use um, that second uh, healing method. So now we are down to eight. So we will switch to regeneration shift. And then if we need to, we can switch to improve regeneration again. Regeneration shift. Ah, oh, no, we're, we're fine, Eva. Don't worry about it. All right. Okay, and these guys will get up. Okay. Somehow we missed this guy. Oh, monkeys. Okay. Oh, unfortunate. Oh man, we are dying in so many bad different ways here. Oh, that is so sad. Um, okay, and as you can tell, uh, Eva is uh, like one of the worst, if not the worst, uh, partners to have in the Crypt Spire, uh, because she does take so much damage, uh, easily from, uh, these guys, and they hit, like, trucks. Everybody in here hits, like, a truck, and, uh, the dark, uh, atmosphere of it also, uh, kind of, uh, leads you to, um, not have the greatest, uh, visual cues of what's happening. So let's go for uh, more speed. This will make our uh, casts uh, much faster here. Okay, and it's uh, kind of a problem to figure out how fast you're going. Uh, okay. So many of them. Yep, that's right, Eva. But you can see uh, it's much faster now. Okay. And hopefully we can get back there. Uh, Lickety split. Good grief, the Crypt Spire is definitely proving to be difficult this time around. And uh, because everything basically one-shots us um, without fail, uh, there's really nothing we could do to actually try and survive here. It's all about uh, just getting uh, as far away as possible. And since we are using Ribcage, uh, we have literally no vitality as well to even compound things even worse. So that's why, uh, you know, when things go bad, they go exceptionally bad, uh, very, very fast in, um, with, uh, what we have access to here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Where is this guy? Okay, Eva just shot the wall there. That's unfortunate. Now we're kind of on the clock here, so, uh, let's head over to Twilight. Okay. And we got regeneration shift active, so that's unfortunate again. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and heal up here. And where is uh, this fella? And this is what I was hoping for uh, last time. Oh no, my keyboard! My keyboard, come back! Come back! Okay, please, keyboard, stop. Oh, 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 great. Okay, is it gonna be one of these, uh, one of these moments, uh, where, uh, it just keeps going and going and going? Come on. Okay, let's try it here. Okay, good. Okay, we got it back. Uh, and we can't get that monkey up there, because he's just too cool for us. Okay, so, good grief, we finally... Uh, made it to the top here. Unfortunately, that was uh, 
more painful than it should have been, but this is why, uh, for all the really good, awesome power that uh, Ribcage has, uh, because it's a, a pretty strong uh, dark casting gift code, um, the problem with it is, right, the, just the fact that uh, you you have, like, no vitality, and having something like the Ivory Grace along for the ride even has worse defenses, and so uh, you can see here uh, that we have no slash resist, basically. We have a sort of okay crush, and we have no pierce. Um, so at, at max difficulty, you want to try and have at least 50 in every one of those categories if you can, uh, just to mitigate as much of the damage as possible, just because of the fact that, you know, it's it's uh, in your best interest to try and stay alive. <laughs> and if you have no vitality like Ribcage here, um, which is kind of just like Aurora, right? Uh, she doesn't have really any physical defenses. Um, and so when you run Ribcage, uh, it's in your best interest to try for um, other methods of staying alive rather than actually going for um, any anything else. So let's go uh, try and see here. Uh, we don't really need Disremember, so we'll go for Regenerator. Uh, let's go and try uh, and see how, how these go here. Um, now, Lightning is okay to go for. Uh, there's no problem with going for um, going for that. So we'll uh, we'll just attempt uh, one uh, one one go here and see how it happens. So we'll go for Lightning on the Blade Bear, and then we will go for uh, Ice on the uh, Cannoneer. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, Eva's dead. Okay. All right. All right, and we almost are up to uh, getting another Twilight on her. Okay, unfortunately you can see that uh, her shield is going to be uh, problematic, uh, to say the least here. Okay. Oops. And I couldn't get the parry on the last one there. Alright, well, I think that'll be um, definitely something we can do. Um, I want to give it one more try, just because... Um, is more constructive than getting depressed. That's right, Eva. But Eva's on her own, and she's going to get uh, torched pretty fast here, uh, all things considered. Uh, and maybe for this setup, it would be better to go for the uh, Cannoneer first, um, just because he would... Uh, definitely take more damage uh, from the outset here. Okay. Yeah, Eva's just toast. Alright. Yeah, Eva can't uh, survive this fight uh, for sure. Wow, he is like really, really aggressive here. Okay. Okay, maybe we can get both of them lined up here. Okay. Like this. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay, so now we're down to eight. I don't know if I'll actually get a chance to uh, um, actually go for anything else here. So we'll try and line them up again. Yes, you. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. What's she doing? Oh, here she comes. Ouch. Okay. So that was an unfortunate uh, tag there. I got the uh, dodge wrong. But yeah, this would definitely be a fun way to put them down. Uh, and I'll have to think of something f uh, similarly fun. Um, and instead of just going for resistances, as we always do. So um, this was Ribcage. Uh, pretty poor defenses overall here. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can do for the uh, Blade Bear and Cannoneer. 
um, maybe some more maybe some different things here to kind of cast that distance would be a lot of fun so anyways we'll see you guys in the next one here for the fight with the blade bear and cannoneer